Hey guys, here are seven ways to instantly make your videos more professional just by the way you stabilize your shot. In other words, no more shaky footage. To learn how to make amazing videos on a budget to grow your company and career, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video. There are some easy filming basics on how to stabilize your camera. Cause that shaky footage from your coworker's office birthday celebration just doesn't cut it when you're making a video for your company. Here are seven different ways to get that professional shot with and without gear. First, let's start with the gear. Number one, and I'm sure you've all heard of it, you can use a tripod. Using a tripod is really the golden standard when it comes to a stabilized shot. The concept here is that you have three legs that support the camera. Just make sure it's level and you're good to go. Number two, you can use a monopod. The nice thing about a monopod is that you can move around a whole lot faster to get your shot, so you have a lot more versatility than a tripod. A monopod is great for when you're covering a live event and you're not able to set up shots. Although it isn't cheap, I love my Manfrotto monopod that seriously my husband gave to me as a Valentine's gift because I asked for it and I use it all the time. So out of curiosity, does your company have a budget to purchase video gear? Just comment below with a yes or no. I'd love to learn what type of content I should focus on. So now let's talk about how to stabilize a shot without gear. This is great for when you're on the go and gear, especially something like a tripod, which is tender you from getting that shot in time. So basically these next techniques use your body or something else to get those three points of contacts kind of like three legs on a tripod. So technique number three is what I call the proposal pose, cause you kind of look like you're about to propose to someone on one knee, except you have your camera in your hands instead. This is where you get down on one knee and you rest your elbows on the knee that's up. Make sure your body is comfortable and stable and push record. Number four, the elbow plant. Just find something stable that you can plant your elbows on and you'll have a pretty steady shot. Next, you can use the T-Rex technique because you kind of look like one. Rawr. Just tuck in those arms and keep as still as possible or move yourself in one motion from the waist. There's also the lean look. No, not the mean look, the lean look where you lean yourself against a wall or a tree and you stabilize yourself and the camera with it. As a side note, you may want to double check to make sure there isn't a trail of ants that you're leaning against too. And number seven, the strap stance. What? No, I did not say lap dance. Tramp stamp? Okay guys, let's just spell this out. The strap stance. For this technique, you put the camera strap around your neck and pull it straight so you have some tension. The strap acts as a third point of contact to give you that extra stabilization. Just like the T-Rex technique, you can move yourself in one motion from the waist. Just keep in mind that when you are using gear like a tripod, you can zoom in as much as you want and it'll still look super stable. But when you don't have gear, the wider the shot, the better. Because when you zoom in, it'll accentuate every little movement. There you go, seven ways you can instantly make your videos more professional just by the way you stabilize your shot. And if you're wondering what type of video should I start with, well, you can download this guy. It has the three must-have videos for business. Just click the link below to download it. If this video is helpful, please let me know by liking it below and subscribing to my channel. And I would love to hear from you. Comment below with which technique was your favorite. Until then, work a pineapple life, have fun, and wear a crown. Because with video, you're going to be the hero of your team.